So to add some spacing, we will just here in the start X, we need to add our spacing here. So key X spacing to the key width. And every time we use the key width, we want to use to add the spacing. So key X spacing to, and same thing here to position the key plus key X spacing. All right, let's hit play now and check. All right, spacing. Hmm. It's working, but it's really subtle. So let's check why it's so subtle. Oh, it's X spacing here. Sorry. So X spacing, X spacing and X spacing instead of key X spacing. Okay. Let's hit play. All right. All right. Pretty cool. Perfect. So let's make it them a little bit bigger. Let's diminish the spacing and we've got ourselves a really nice keyboard here. All right, cool. Let's save this data. So let's say, oh no, it's not here. Let's say copy component. All right. Pass component values. Perfect. Let's diminish the alpha of the rectangle of our keyboard. All right, nice. So now we want to add the backspace key. So here in the third line, let's add a little dot here. And then we can tell Unity if you see this little dot, if the char, if the key is a little dot, then it's the backspace key. So let's add this now. Let's create a new key. So duplicate this one and let's call it backspace key. Let's open it. All right. So the backspace key won't have any text. So we can remove it from here, but it will have an, an image instead. Okay. So let's call it backspace icon. All right. It's going to be stretched along the, all the axis. And I'm quickly going to grab some icons and come back. So let's change the icon here to the backspace one. Let's preserve the aspect and maybe make it a little bit darker. Yeah. Let's add some padding to it. Perfect. Then let's open the key script because we are going to add some changes to it. So first off, let's add a settings header and let's add a new Boolean to know if it's the backspace. So let's call it is backspace. And here we want, of course, a function to return that. So bool is backspace return is backspace. Then we can co go back to our keyboard script. And here, when we create the keys, let's check if it's a backspace or not. So if the key is equals to this character, then it's the backspace key. Otherwise it's a normal key. All right. Otherwise we can just take this code and pass it here. All right. Let's go. Let's pass this one here too, but we can remove the set key because we aren't going to set the key for the backspace. And here we can use key, um, maybe backspace key. Yeah. Backspace key prefab. So let's create it here. All right. Let's go back to unity to specify it in the inspector. So this one first is going to be a backspace key. Of course, we can drive the backspace key and drop it in the inspector. All right. Then let's first check if it creates it or not. It does create it. Awesome. Perfect. But now we want the backspace key to be twice the width of a normal key. So here when placing the keys, let's check if this line contains a backspace or not, because this will help us set the start X position. So let's here say, um, I think I'm going to set it here. Okay. Let's create a Boolean and call it contains backspace equals false. So let's say contains backspace equals lines I dot keys dot contains this character. 
if the line keys contains the dot, then it contains the backspace key. Okay, so we can make it simpler by writing it like so. So if the line contains the backspace, we're going to increase the half key count by dot five. So plus equals dot five. Then we also want to change our start X or maybe not, not the start X. We won't change the start X, sorry. We are just going to change the position and the size of the button. So first here, let's check if it's the backspace. So Boolean is backspace uh, key equals lines I dot keys dot dot keys J equals backspace so the dot so if it's the backspace key we want to increase the x value of the key so key x plus equals the width of the key plus the x spacing minus the x spacing sorry all right we also want to change its uh, size delta so let's say maybe key width equals key width for now Oh, this, let's call it this key width equals key width. And here we want to use this key width. So if it's the backspace key, if is backspace key, this key width will be twice the size of the normal key width. All right, let's check if this works now. Hit play. All right, perfect. It's just a little bit overlapping the M key. Oh, here I need to add to the X position only if it's the backspace key. Sorry, that's why, that's why it wasn't working properly. All right, let's go back to Unity and check. Nice, all right, perfect. Now it's cool. So now we, have, we need some events to know which key was pressed. So in the keyboard, when creating the keys, we want to grab our button so let's say key instance dot get button and we want to add a new event whenever we click on it so here let's say uh it's backspace pressed callback and for the normal key it's going to be key instance so let's get the button let's add a new event and it's going to be um key pressed callback and here we want to pass in the, the key. So let's say key, it's gonna be the, the character. Okay, let's create these two methods. I'm gonna drop them here maybe. Private void backspace called press. So let's just debug for now. Uh, let's say backspaced pressed, backspace pressed, sorry. And here another one for the key, key pressed callback, which will take a, a character as an argument going to be the key all right let's just debug.log um key pressed plus key all right and here i have an error because i did not add the parenthesis okay cool let's hit play now and see if that works okay q w e b m okay it's working properly you can check that in the inspector here backspace and so on so now you can just create two events one for the backspace and one from the key and use it wherever you want that's it i hope you like the video if that's the case feel free to subscribe or like the video and if you have any questions i'm always here so ask in the comments section have a good day and bye bye